So I'm assuming that you use a pillow at night? Yes. And probably a pillowcase. Yes. But is it any good? And what can you do to make it better? Why does it even matter what type of pillowcase you use in the first place? Well, depending on the type of pillowcase you're using, you could potentially actually be damaging your hair. You could also be causing yourself acne and your skin to actually break out. But don't worry, in this video I'll actually be showing you how to prevent that and I'll be showing you guys and telling you guys what the best pillowcase is to actually use. So if you didn't know, the type of pillowcase that you use actually does matter. I'm sure most of you guys watching probably use a cotton pillowcase. Don't worry, I used to once use one too, until I found out that cotton can actually cause your skin to break out and for your hair to actually be dry. Cotton is an absorbent fabric, which means that it traps sweat, dirt, hair care, or even skin care products which means that it literally rips away moisture from your hair and skin. So if you've ever washed your face at night, done your whole skincare routine, thought you were ready to go to bed for the night and thought everything was all fine and dandy and then you woke up the next day with a pimple the size of your afro on the side of your cheek, your pillowcase might actually be the culprit. That's crazy. It really be the ones that's closest to you. So cotton, gotta go. I'm dying. Help me. Instead, here's a much better solution. Ah, <sighs> even smell expensive. This is a pillowcase made purely of silk. Silk is actually an all-natural fiber that's actually made by silkworms. Yes, you heard me correctly. Literally, your pillowcase is made by worms. Worms made your pillowcase. You're welcome. I'm always working. They always overworking me. I'm tired of this. Since silk is actually all natural, it means it's completely pure. Unlike satin or polyester, which is man-made and made from oils. That means it's be sure to wash out for satin or polyester pillowcases. They may feel and look like silk, but it's not the real deal. Because silk is so hard to make and manufacture, they've made man-made imitations of it. So be sure to watch out for that. Polyester, satin, and cotton, they all strip away moisture from your hair and skin. Unlike silk, that actually helps your hair and skin retain moisture, as well as reduces friction, so it helps to stop breakage, it helps to stop frizz, as well as it helps to stop tangles when you wake up. It also improves your skin and your hair's hydration, prevents fine lines and wrinkles, as well as it results in frizz-free hair. That's if it's real silk, of course. When shopping for a silk pillowcase, this is where it gets just a bit tricky. There is a lot of pillowcases out there that is labeled silk, but is actually polyester, satin, cotton, or some blend of two or three of them. You wanna make sure when you are deciding to purchase a pillowcase that it says 100% mulberry silk. Mulberry silk is a little different than regular silk. It comes from a specific species of silkworm that's diet consists only of leaves specifically and exclusively from the mulberry tree. Ah, indeed, indeed, indeed. So you want the bougiest of bougie silkworms to produce the bougiest of bougie silk. Mm, of course, why of wouldn't Of course, I? why wouldn't you? That's what I'm saying. I need the finer things in life, Precisely. thank you. All jokes aside, mulberry silk is actually smoother, stronger, and of higher quality than regular silk. Silk is measured by grade, which basically just means quality, as well as something called mame. Mommy? The higher the mame, the thicker your pillowcase is actually gonna be. Silk is graded A, B, C, etc. A being the highest grade silk could possibly get, it's also gonna be graded by number. So it goes from 2A all the way up to 5A, and even in some cases 6A. So the higher the number, the better quality your silk. Mame is how thick the yarn of silk is. The higher the mame, 
the thicker and heavier your pillowcase is gonna be. This is similar to thread count in cotton pillowcases. So the thicker the thread count, the thicker your pillowcase is gonna be, and also the more expensive. So since silk is a all natural fiber, that actually means it's gonna be more expensive than a man-made fiber like polyester or satin. Because it's gonna be more expensive, you wanna keep in mind that any silk pillowcase that you're looking at that is under $20 is more than likely going to be fake. Uh, you're going to definitely, if you want a silk pillowcase, a real silk pillowcase, you're gonna to have to pay a little bit of a premium. I'm not even gonna to lie to you. You're looking at anywhere from $40 to $100 for a pillowcase. My heavens, that's absolutely ludicrous. James, <laughs> fetch me my purse. But in my opinion, I think it is worth it if you buy one silk pillowcase and you sleep on one pillow at night You can buy it for your entire bed if you want. Um, I would go out of recommend against it Those are some very expensive pillowcases, but um, I'd recommend just getting one silk pillowcase and Taking good care of that silk pillowcase and you will see a great improvement in your skin and hair overall health My pillowcase was $40. I got it off of Amazon I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to order the same exact one that I got. So the benefits that a silk pillowcase actually brings to you is vast and very many versus any other fabric pillowcase. But it works wonders for your hair and skin. It is going to be a little bit on the pricier side, but I do think that it is worth it. But that is actually all the time that I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave this video a like so that it can rank higher up on the charts on YouTube and that someone else can come across this video and that you can also help them. So be sure to leave this video a like if you did enjoy it at all. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you know when I post, when I drop a video next week. YouTube actually tells me 90% of you guys who are watching my videos aren't subscribing. What are you guys waiting for? Be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you like hair care, skin hair, or overall fitness or wellness in general. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Kozak, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.